is there a way by which we can reduce our karmic baggage? We all are here because of our karma, our sanchit karma, whatever we have accumulated over lifetimes in different directions of time and space. Is there a way by which we can reduce that baggage and we can improve our prarabh karma, which is our current karma? Our prarabh karma is nothing but our current action, our current intention, our current thoughts and our current words. So as we speak now, our records are getting updated, our Akashic records are getting updated with our Prarabh Karma. Right? So remember every karma of ours is being recorded in the giant computer of the universe. Every bit of information is stored in all dimensions, in all directions of time and space. So, a few steps by which we can reduce our negative karma and improve our prarabh karma, our current karma, and make our agami karma better. The first one that I would like to share with you is waking up during Brahma Muhura, which is around 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. It is a very simple practice, but a very powerful one. Maybe initially you have to push yourself and make it happen if you're not an early riser. But do this. Do this for 21 days and see the shift in your life. Trust me, it is very, very powerful, provided you utilize the time well. So when you wake up early in the morning, read some spiritual scripture something from your masters, your gurus, or any ascended master. Start with meditating on your chakras. Do a chakra cleansing meditation or any other form of meditation that you like. Something to cleanse your chakras and naris. Could be Kriya Yoga, could be Sudarshan Kriya, could be Raj Yoga, whatever you're drawn to. But start your day with some form of meditation and prayers. Second is chanting the Mahamritan Jain Mantra. It's a very, very powerful practice. It removes all obstacles from our lives and gives us tremendous strength and power. So chanting the Mahamritan Jain Mantra daily. The third point is no criticism. So for nine days, try to practice this. Don't criticize anything person, situation, object, living, non-living, whatever. Try not to get into any kind of criticism or judgment. And trust me, this can be the most difficult point. But it will make you more conscious of what you're doing, of your behavior, of your thought pattern. Right? The next point is exercise, physical workout. So it's very important to channel your physical energy, right? So some form of physical exercise, whatever suits you. Could be yoga, could be jogging, running, cardio, whatever. But some form of physical exercise, daily. The next point is some form of selfless act. So doing something selflessly, and not talking about it. So keeping it only to your own self. The next point is having one or two major meal a day. So try to cut down on the food that you have and try to take two meals every day. Try to skip one meal. If you want, you can take juices or fruits. However, try to cut down on your food intake. And try to take pure food, pure vegetarian food. The next point is do something that you usually dislike doing. For instance, if you don't like talking to a particular person, 
make that phone call talk to that person maybe it will make you uncomfortable but it will surface some energy which you will need to clear so it will give you an awareness and real a realization right so do something which you don't usually like to do it could be doing the dishes if you don't like reading read you know something which is good for us but we don't do it let's try to do that the next point is try to avoid any kind of media gossip so try not to watch television or even if you're watching television you know don't watch too much of drama or too much of uh, news negative news you know just avoid it for few days even if you're working on internet try to avoid gossip and the last point is review and recall end of each day think about your entire day how's your day been try to journal if you can write down your experiences your feelings your thoughts your discomforts where you feel that you can improve you can do better so these are few very simple tips whichever you can do how much ever you can do try to do it and try to journal it start with 9 days so when you're doing this do all these steps for 9 days and after that if you want you can continue okay. but then do this for a cycle for a period of 9 days without breaking the cycle and trust me you will see a huge huge transformation in your life in your energy in your thoughts in your behavior for me it's been a life changing experience and i really want you to experience this so try this karma cleansing program for 9 days and let me know the differences you see within your own energy system so that's all for today thank you for listening